Hi to Chaco. We have a Fire Towers. Um, beautiful Fire Lord Towers already. This is exactly what I want to see. But Farseer. Okay, Farseer against Fire Lord Towers. Is this exciting? Is this super exciting? This is super exciting, guys. This is something you never see unless, you know, you watch my stream. Unless you watch my stream. This is when you can see this. We have a Farseer. He's being born uh, slowly. Ready Takes right. nine months, of course, in-game time. There's a Footman. He's going for the next Footman. It's beautiful. Can you send a link in the chat, please, Chaco? Which one? Which link do you want? The link to the website is... Uh, the website you just saw? Ready to work. Ready or right. the link to the 2v2. If you want to see the 2v2, go to the right side and uh, click the information. NetEase... NetEase only have servers for Asia or why? Or why is it Asian plus Russian players? It is based in China, yes. The server is based in China. It is... Uh, but we have... Uh, most European players are playing on it nowadays. Most of the good ones. There's a Fire Lord. Seems a little uh, spawny guy. This Wolfie is going down fast. For the 2 vs 2 tournament. Okay, just... Uh, Go to the right side of that web page, find the 2v2, and click on the eye on the left side. And you will uh, find it there. Or uh, click, no, or not on the eye actually, no, click on the, uh, just on the, 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 the name of the tournament. On the right side on the web page. Anyway, the Fire Lord here takes some damage. Uh, he's surrounded. What the fuck? He's surrounded. Of course, there's no Blade Master. He doesn't die super fast, but you know, he's still going to die. Uh, there was probably a mistake there by uh, by Romantic. And there's a TP out here for Lin, trying to save his grunt, but I don't think he will be... No, he gets it out in time. 49 hit points. Job's done. That was an interesting choice. He used a TP to save a 49 hit point grunt. Does that even have a shop? Like, if he had a shop, maybe I could understand it, but... I guess, you know, even if he doesn't have a shop, he just needs anything. Right, this TP is useless. So just using the TP just to save this grunt. Might be worth it. He's building a war mill. He needs a shop though. For this grunt to be useful at all. The lava spawns here just still going to kill it. And yeah, I guess the TP wasn't really that useful. Maybe it would have been better if he kept the TP. Kept attacking. Uh, because TPing out meant he stopped attacking for like a few seconds. If he kept the TP, he could have sold it for 175 gold at some point. Job's done, but at least he, he fend off these towers. These towers, though, going to be harder to fend off. There's no burrow in the near, near neighborhood. Uh, this footman's uh, Wolfie, 70 hit points. This peon goes down. This uh, peasant is Michael back. Archman just throws these uh, lightning things at him. Nice chain lightning there. There's a Fire Lord. He's being blocked by the dog. He doesn't have mana yet for Lava Spawn, but soon. Lava Spawn, 150 mana, of course. What about World of 3 Arena for European players? Uh, wh what about it? Uh, you mean, uh, why would they play on Nettys? One peasant goes down. Uh, Nettys has better players, so... You know, if you want to be the very best that no one ever was, you have to play on Nettys and not on World of 3 Arena. We have a lava spawn available here. Ah, TP could be sold. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, what I was trying to say is like, he doesn't have access to his shop. Well, now he has. Now we could have sold it. So he thought maybe the grunt was more valuable, but, you know, I agree it wasn't. <laughs> Job's done. Job's done. Why good players on the net is not work with three arena? Grubby plays only work with three arena, for example, right? Yeah, I mean, but Grubby is like the best player on on work with three arena when he plays. Uh, so are, there are a few other good players that still play sometimes uh, work with three arena, but that's mostly to snipe Grubby. You know, even Blade, for example, Blade was rank one or was rank one for a long time on uh, work with three arena is playing on NetEase now. And he's gotten a lot better since he started playing on NetEase. 
This uh, tower goes down. This guard tower. We have a uh, we have this tower to defend the demolisher. We have two barracks, by the way. Two demolishers. Uh, I think this is held. I think this uh, this tower is held, but this is not GG yet. Normally I feel like it's GG because we have a Blade Master, but we have a Farseer this game. Farseer is not as powerful compared uh, to the Blade Master uh, late game. So normally, you know, you have a Blade Master against a Fire Lord. It's just GG, right? But Farseer against Fire Lord, the game can still go on. And Romantic 7 supply up. He's going to tack in a little bit. He, uh, he didn't lose too much besides these towers. And he did force also a tower to be made, two demolishers to be made, a second barracks to be made. Spirit Lodge is not up yet, so he might have some time to catch up uh, and go to tier 2, if that's what he's planning. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think Lin has an advantage. But the game is not over yet. We have uh, no tower though. We need the tower against the Farseer. Hello! I guess he hasn't played against the Farseer in like forever. There's the tower. These farms are so awkwardly placed, they're just they're making the, these peasants easier to kill because they can't militia. You can just blow. Look at this. They cannot take the pick up their armor and defend themselves. This is like horrible base here for Mantic. I've never seen a base this bad, to be honest. For human, I didn't know human could screw up a base this badly until I saw this base. Farsha is now level three. He has level two wolfies. Uh, because the arena server are in Europe and the Netties ones in Asia. I mean EU players. Oh, nice chain lighting there. Kills this uh, this guy. Oh. Yeah, just has uh, all the Asian players and they are on average just, you know, much better than the European players. At least they were. I mean, they still are, but I feel like now that the European players are playing against the top Asian players on Nadis, they're kind of catching up. We have two lava spawns here in the back. Gets a wolfie. There's another lava spawn. Uh, so many lava spawns. He dispels the wolfies. Oh, the forest of shadow is so insanely powerful against the fire here. Even though I always say how it sucks so much against uh, against the blade master. Mostly for night elf though. For human, I feel uh, maybe especially if you have casters, it's not that much of a problem. But it, on the other hand, for human, it seems like kind of useless to get because you already have your normal priests uh, but you know against the farseer it's just uh, you can dispel the wolfies he's super powerful does he have defend he does have defend and here he comes where are the demolishers by the way here they are they're going for a flank attack oh they killed all the farms wait I was not paying attention somewhere guys <laughs> romantic is supply stock now at 18 uh, supply two demolishers killed like everything Chaco Nice job paying attention to this game. Thanks, guys. Militia here are defending again. We're trying to. We have a TC with Shockwave. These peasants, they could be Shockwaved. Good job. These defended footmen, though, they do a lot of damage. To, uh, uh, I'm not sure, actually. This is probably uh, Romantic's doing more damage than he is taking, I feel like. Even though uh, the militia here are dying to the, the Shockwaves. Where's the Shockwave? Oh, he used one Shockwave to the Demolishers. Um, even if, if he kills this demolisher, if he kills this demolisher, this is gonna be so bad for Lin. He loses the demolisher. Lin is supply capped, remember? Oh, and he will lose his last burrow as well. The pe peons got out somehow. If uh, all Oromatic needs to do is defend. If he can defend this, he's using his gold peons as militia. If he can defend this, I think he's just gonna win the game because uh, he did so much damage there. Killing all the burrows, killing a bunch of peons. There was a nice shockwave on this uh, first soul shadow priest. Do we see surround on the grunt? Where's the surround on the grunt? Hello! He had so much time to surround the grunt! Well, he's still going to die, I think, because the fire lord just has better movement speed than the grunt. And uh, this demolisher is also in deep shit, of course, because... Oh, he has his peaceful, well, never, never mind. And... Uh, these lava spawns still here, still killing peons. Hello, Lin, you need to do something about it. The monster does go down. Lin at 21 supply. He does have double hero though. Uh, Romantic at 30 supply. He's at tier two now. I wonder what hero is gonna get second. Finds a shop, kills it. 
Is he just going to go for another pressure hero like Naga and go right in? Attack again right now. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Romantic doesn't have the money yet. He needs some more gold. He just bought a healing scroll. But I think just buying the Naga and just attack moving into the orc base is just fine right now. Right? You, you guys disagree? Beastmaster would be nice as well. A mess word by Chaco flank attack. Level 5, uh, he's gonna creep to level 5 Fire Lord first. It's fine, that's fine as well. Someone in GCS said that Romantic is very good versus Orcs. He is uh, very, very good against Orcs. I agree. He is, uh, I think he's better than Infi against Orc. I'm not sure if he's better than TH. There is a level 3 lava spawn now, guys. 700 hit points. 32 to 56 damage. Just one burrow just for the next one. Uh, he didn't take a second hero. Now he's, uh, he bu built something else and now he doesn't have the supply. Think about the second berserker instead. I, I I would have liked the Naga. Look, he has the gold. He has so much gold right now. Could have easily gotten a Naga instead of the berserker. Am I, am I stupid? Maybe he wants Volcano. Oh, Romantic wants Volcano. The best ultimate in the game, Kappa. Kappa, guys, Kappa. Does Romantic have a stream somewhere? Uh, no, no. Roman uh, or does he? Does Romantic have a stream on Doyu? I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Uh, this Berserker here is under attack. There's no more Forest Tool Shadow Priest to uh, save it. Kill the wolfie. Nice around here on the farce here. This game is totally over, man. This this is GG. And this is uh, one of those games where the Fire Lord still wins the game, even after killing after the towers has been uh, defended. Oh, did he have the greater healing potion? But is it gonna be enough? Don't think it's gonna be enough. Or is it gonna be enough? Okay, never mind. It's not GG just yet. <laughs> if only he had a Naga, this would have been GG. Should I mention it a few t more times how, how right I was for getting that Naga? And how wrong Romantic is for not getting the Naga. He is getting a griffin, double Griffin Aviary. Is he going uh, Dragon Hawks? What is this? Dragon Hawks? Why Dragon Hawks? Sometimes he's online on Twitch. Romantic? I don't think Romantic ever streams on Twitch, right? Twitch is just for. Uh, I mean, the Koreans usually use uh, Doyu TV. Uh, I mean, sorry, the Chinese usually use Doyu TV. Might be on Panda TV. He does? Because I don't know any other Chinese player that streams on Twitch. TC users versus Hawks. Uh, not if you have Raiders. He was going Mass Raiders, right? Well, or Mass Raiders. He had a, few, a lot of Raiders before. When he chose to go Hawks, there were at least uh, two Raiders. Job done. Job's done. He can't use Twitch in China or use VPN like me, and it's fucking lagging. Yeah. Uh, this uh, Lava Spawn, 312 hit points. Oh, lava spawn. Job's done. Lava spawn. How much XP does it give? 408. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, the creeps get it. Oh, he wanted the XP so bad. He didn't get it. His TC would have been pretty close to level 3 after getting it. There's a dragon hawk. And there's a, three dragon hawks already. Okay, nice shockwave there. Uh, there's one, uh, one ensnare guy, one raider. Maybe he can kill him. I feel like, you know, Romantic hasn't been... Is Romantic seriously playing his hardest to win this game? Oh, the fire, the burn thing kills the raider. How much damage is that even? Soul burn. Uh, 14 damage per second for 16 seconds. That's actually quite a lot of damage. What is 14 times 16? Uh, that's difficult math. Let's see, 10 times 16 is 160. 
4 times 16 is 64. So that's 224 damage for Soulburn. Okay, it's not that much, but it's. Uh, can kill raiders. We have five dragon hawks now killing these wolfies. One is the ensnared, one is dying himself. The dragon hawk does go down. We have level 3 TC now. Does he pick level 2 endurance or our level 2 shockwave? Picks level 2 shockwave. A romantic, I think he can still throw away this game. I think the, the dragon hawk choice is just horrible. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, dragon hawks are just so useless. They're bad against heroes. They're bad against most units. They're only good against a few specific units. Right? Like um, some air units. Oh, we have a We have Volcano! Do we see Volcano? He didn't even pick it, which is funny. He, he could have picked level 3 Soulburn. Yeah, I feel like if he wanted to win this game no matter what, he would have picked uh, Soulburn. He would not have gone Dragon Hawks. He would have got a second hero. I'm pretty sure he's just trying to meme. Uh, trying to beat Lin with this uh, volcano causes the ground to erupt into a massive volcano. Every five seconds, a wave of molten rocks is hurled from the volcano at nearby ground units and buildings, causing 100 damage to each target and stunning it for two seconds. A uh, building takes two times uh, more damage from molten rocks than units do. It lasts 35 seconds. Um, the fire lord might die here, by the way. In fact, he's dead. Cast a level 2 soul burn on the farce here. So Volcano does like 200 damage to the buildings every 5 seconds. So that's 40 damage a second. Isn't even that super powerful against buildings. Uh, Lava Spawn is killing all the peons though again. So, you know, it's not like Romantic is out just yet. Uh, but losing that Fire Lord was quite a big deal. All the peons are dead. Oh, he has some peons over here. Lava Spawns! Go kill these peons. Does Lin now finally realize he has like four of these huge, super powerful lava spawns in his base? Man, these lava spawns are so scary. They all expire though, but uh, they are still pretty scary. I think Lin will have nightmares about lava spawns. Uh, I will. I will have nightmares about lava spawns. I assume you guys will as well. Quick maths. Where the hell is TA's training? He was playing earlier. Uh. We saw him play one game, but it was a human mirror, so he didn't, didn't join it. We could have shot a hole in the woods and cast Volcano there, like inter uninterruptible stuff. I mean, you could just walk around the base, cast Volcano from here. All the Dragonhawks are dying, I'm not sure what uh, Romantic's trying to do here. He definitely had the game in the back, it was impossible for him to lose, but he still managed to lose this game. Oh, Fire Lord is back, but we are now have level 3 Wolfies. We have a level 5 Farseer and level 4 TC. These units are all super low on hit points, so the shop is gonna be up in a moment. Uh, Fire Lord in danger of being killed. He's going for the uh, item. He kills the item. Whatever that was. Whatever he left on the floor there. I don't, I'm not sure what it was. He's going for the volcano. He uses the invis. I think, you know, this is all he wanted to do. <laughs> I think this is all Romantic wanted to do. If he wanted to win this game, I think he would have won a long time ago. He just wanted to cast this volcano. Our gold mine is running low. Our town is under siege. There it is. Look at him dance. Wow, it's so beautiful. Wow, <laughs> I didn't know it looked that beautiful, his dance. Okay, no. It has a bit, very big area, I guess. So it does, uh, it does like 40 damage a second. But oh, actually, not everything is hit. Dragon Hawk goes down to the burrows. Our forces are under attack. It's beautiful. GG, romantic GG's out. 